Now, with questions and concerns over air quality continuing around the country and right here in the capital region, DEC has a dozens of monitors stationed across upstate New York. News 10 ABC's Harrison Grubb getting a first-hand look at how they monitor our air. With East Palestine, Ohio still on the minds of many, we wanted to see how the state ensures the air we're breathing is safe. On the roof of the Albany County Health Department building in Albany South End, the DEC is doing just that. We collect particles on filters in here. Dirk Felton is a research scientist for the Division of Air Resources. Hundreds of miles from the fiery derailment, he says the state paid close attention to the monitoring station closest to the crash in Buffalo, especially when toxic chemicals were released by crews in the beginning of February. We actually did proactively look for that and we did not find any impacts in New York. But monitoring isn't just happening in the wake of an environmental disaster. The site has operated for just over 50 years, analyzing a multitude of air particles to make sure EPA guidelines are met. We can measure the air quality and compare it to the air quality standards. It's even played an integral role in the DEC study of air quality in the South End, which began after the community voiced concern over train pollution. We tried to determine whether most of the local pollution was coming from trains, and we decided it was not from the measurements we collected but trucks certainly were impacting the residents. The monitoring station has also shown improved air quality since 2000, specifically PM 2.5, small particles in the air that can pose health risks. And we were near the standard, but since then we've come down. Uh, it, it's from sources are cutting back, coal plants in Pennsylvania, trucks are cleaner, cars are cleaner. The site atop the health department is one of four in the capital region measuring air quality. Reporting in Albany, Harrison Grubb, News 10, ABC.